is the Dark Lord, and I'm back in the motherfucking building. Yo, 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 yo. What's good, family? I am here. I'm in the motherfucking building. We are gonna build on some deep shit today. Um, make sure everybody can see me. Give everybody five minutes. Let me know if I'm coming in clear. Let me know if my audio's clear. Let me know if my video is not glitchy. I need my audio to be clear and my video to not be glitchy. So press one. If everything is good. Press one if everything is good. We're going to get into some heavy information today. Today we talking about Sebek. Ampu, Anubis. Sobek. The Sebekian energy. What's good, Shake Butter? Okay. Oh, everything's good. Okay, cool. I'm not glitchy. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to get into this. We're going to get into this. What's popping everybody in the building? Yo, Exotic Latina. What's popping, homie? Yeah, we're going to get we're going to get real serious. We're going to get real serious with this today. Sebek, I'm gonna go right into it. Fuck it. Hold on. Let me get one more sip before I go into it. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. Sebek is the energy that is misunderstood, and there are many layers to Sebek. Much like one would misunderstand Baron Samdi and how Baron Samdi, that whole degree has so many layers. It, we have a similar thing with Sebek. And the funny thing with that is um, the comedic version of Baron Samdi would be Sebek. So that's really interesting. You're saying we're talking about the underworld energy and stuff like that so we're going we're going to deal with a lot of the layers of Sebek you know what I'm saying then we're going to deal with the psychology of Sebek and all of that in this in this uh lecture um like I said we're dealing with Heru and Sebek for our next ritual so we want to go in depth with these two faculties and these energies so with that said, take your pen and pad out. All right. Um, I'm going to record this, but you never know when we're going to have a technical uh, failure and I got to do a video again and I can't repeat certain things. So always have your pen and pad out. And also, if the video is recorded, you never know if this video end up getting dele deleted. My account could get hacked. You never know what can happen. So always... You know what I'm saying? Make sure you have a notebook every time you watch a video so that whenever you need to go back, you have everything on record. So I do want to throw that out there. Another thing I want to say is for everybody watching live, because I recorded live, when I cut off, you know what I'm saying? When I'm done recording, you might come in like a minute or two late or 10 minutes late and you'll catch it from where you started it. If I cut off, don't panic because within a few hours or whatever, this lecture gets re-uploaded. But when I cut off, it cuts everything off and then it processes and uploads. And that takes a little minute. So I do want to let y'all know that. All right. And before we, we start fully, everybody thumbs up this video ahead of time. All right. I can use those likes. All right. right, let's Let me get back into this. So, Sebek, Sobek, Anubis, okay, 
um, you know, m many different um, energies associated with Sebek. You know what I'm saying? The dog. All right. And that's for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is a widely misunderstood deity in comedic science. And a lot of people who break down Sebek, most people that break down Sebek in the West call Sebek Anubis, and they only focus on one aspect. You know what I'm saying? It's so wide. All right. So, when we deal with the psychological aspect of Sebek, or the comedic tree of life version of Sebek, we're dealing with the nerd. We're dealing with the intelligent dog. We're dealing with verbal communication. We're dealing with intelligence, logistics. We're dealing with the verbal command. We're dealing with the word itself. And then also, we're dealing with um, high intelligence. All right, we're dealing with high intelligence. Uh, Tahuti is the other aspect that has that in, that high intelligence, but the Sebek version is compartmentalized. The Tahuti version actually goes hand in hand with the Sebek version. All right. So with that said. Sebek is like the word, the word alone, all right? But Tahuti in my eye can make the word make sense, can put the word into action where the word alone is not um, irrational. So whenever dealing with Sebek, you got to you gotta try to always stay in order with Tahuti in my eye. And also to power the word, you know what I'm saying? You got hey, hey rule, all right? Very important stuff. But one thing with Sebek, Sebek is very convincing. So if we got the word right, this is where we get into affirmations. The funny thing is that the West, it, you know, in Western psychology, you know, there's now a thing where affirmations is the thing. Okay, you say this 21 times a day for 21 days. Now you can convince your psyche to make a change or whatever. Or, you know, you you know, you know, can rewrite your thought process. And we understood that in ancient comedic science thousands of years ago. All right. Um. A lot of people don't understand the word. Okay. Just as Will doesn't have much power without Hey Ru, Sebek does not have much power without Ma'at, Tahuti, and Hey Ru. Okay. So it's like, okay, I am. A superstar, the affirmation. I am a superstar. I am a superstar. If you're just throwing the word out and you're not visualizing, then the word is just a word. Okay. Um the the word is powerful because the word can definitely psyche your psyche into believing something. That's very important. So in ancient comedic science and ancient comedic psychology or ancient comedic spiritual cultivation we work with affirmations frequently okay so homework for everyone whatever you want all right uh, we dealt with the hey rule version uh, and, and we dealt with the visualization you know what I'm saying we dealt with um, offset and taking that into uh, taking that visualization into meditation and into the sleepy state. All right, now we're going to deal with the affirmation. All right, okay. So when we deal with the 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 setback ritual, we're going to deal with the affirmation. We're going to deal with actually writing down our goals, our ideas, our business plans. We're going to deal with you know writing it down. Okay, we're going to deal with the power of verbal 
communication, whether it's external, you know what I'm saying, we're speaking, we're dealing with the throat chakra, and we're going to deal with that internal verbal communication, the voice inside your head, making the voice inside your head is on point with what it is saying, you know what I'm saying, That's this is straight up Sebek faculty. Sebek, like I said, widely misunderstood. For the most part, the uncultivated person does not use Sebek correctly. The issue that we have in the West is that a lot of our of our success is it kind of happens by chance. We shoot in the dark. So, you know what I'm saying? It's things that we do that we don't even realize that that's how you do it. And if we understood the science, there was a science to manifestation and success and things like that. We would we would be a lot more successful, a lot more, you know. One thing with Sebek, the word has power when there is emotion and conviction put into the word, all right? So even when you are doing your affirmations, when you're doing your affirmations, and there ain't no emotional energy into it, you're wasting your time. When you're doing your affirmations and you putting emotion into it and conviction into it, much like saying an incantation or a mantra, right, when you put an energy into it, the word then is powered, it's charged. So your psyche moves on it, and then um, dealing with the Sebekian energy, the verbal command, all right, um, because you put emotion and conviction into it, there's energy back by in that, that energy is chi, and then now we have people who um, they have these affirmations that they put their energy into it, their heart and their soul into it, and then now it manifests into their reality. Press one if that makes sense, y'all. Press one if that makes sense. Now, the other aspect of uh, Sebek. When we're dealing with Sebek, we're dealing with the communication. We're dealing with Mercury. Okay? And if we dealt with Zodiac energy, we're talking about Virgo. Okay? And we're talking about um, Gemini. Virgo and Gemini. Communication. Straight up communication. All right? Those Sebekian energies, communication, um, conversationalist, all right, reporters, people who are adept with speech and vocabulary. You know what I'm saying? One thing with a Sebekian, a Sebekian can definitely get their point across. Okay? A Sebekian can get their point across. People who have Sebekian energy, the way that you can get under their skin or suffocate them literally is by filling with communication or cutting off communication All right um planet mercury like i said if we if we dealt with african spirituality we are talking about eshu all right we are talking about elegua okay powerful energies Okay, if it was Haitian Vodun, talking about the Baron Samdi energy, all right? Um, Sebek's energy can be red and black a lot of the times, okay? As far as color, all right, red and black. Um, what else can I say about Sebek? All right, um... There's a lot of money attached to Sebek. Sebek is the nerd. Sebek is the technician. 
the intelligent one. All right. Sebek is also a wordsmith. Anybody who's a wordsmith or really heavy into vocabulary, this is a Sebekian. Okay. And it doesn't matter what we got going on. We have a business operation that we plan or whatever. We it would be a good idea to have a Sebekian on your team. Okay. This is Intel. This is intelligence. This is the headquarters. You know what I'm saying? The the uh this is IT, the IT technician. You know what I'm saying? Without Se Sebekian energy, without Sebek, without communication flowing, we have a major problem. All right. And Sebek is so very important. Uh like I said, Sebek is dealing with the planet Mercury and what a lot of people don't know is that all the damn planets go into retrograde. But it's only one planet that we focus on when it goes into retrograde. People go nuts. And that's Mercury. So Mercury stops. And Sebek energy is off its axis. Okay. When that energy stops and is in reverse, one split millisecond, we have a lot of errors going on. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Mercury goes into retrograde to get people to go within, to move a certain way, to take a break, to go within, to, to, to make major changes and stuff like that. And it's like... You got you, you. It's like everything else can stop. Saturn goes in the retrograde. Venus goes in the retrograde, but that does not get our attention. One thing that gets our attention is when Sebek stop, when communication stops, then we have a major problem. So that's something that we gotta uh, take into account. You know what I'm saying? Communication is everything. You know what I'm saying? The verbal command is everything. I'm saying so when we deal with the verbal command, we're dealing with the intelligence, and this is energy is represented by the dog. Why the dog? Because the dog, even in ancient comedic times, there was an acknowledgement that the dog you can train on verbal command. And it was smart. And whenever you you know what I'm saying? The dog is known for a verbal command and to move on verbal command. And that is an asset. You know what I'm saying? That has been an asset. So this is why Shebek has the dog head. You know what I'm saying? See, the funny thing is when you read these books on Anubis, you're not going to hear that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to hear a bunch of craziness and you're going to think that our comedic ancestors was out of their minds, but they was not. They knew they shit. You know what I'm saying? Press one if you feel where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? They knew they stuff inside out backwards. Okay. Um. When it comes to, as you see, we always, 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 in 2018, we like to deal with practical things. You see, in, 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 in the group and everything, we focus on money manifestation. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we need money in, or, in order to do what we got to do and also to really, really, really work on our spirituality and all of that. For a lot of us out here having money struggles, setback... A, a, a good key or a good hint is when the setback energy is off, your money's going to be fucked up because the communication energy is fucked up, all right? This means that you must have a working phone. Your phone cannot, your phone cannot have a cracked screen. These are, these are little indicators that the communication frequency is off and your money's going to be off, you know what I'm saying? You got to have active communication. And whenever communication fails, you got to get it back on to get your money 
blowing again. All right, so everybody look at their phone screens, check and see if it's cracked. If it's cracked, you'll get a brand new phone. Trust me on this. Um, that's a degree. Um, or your tablet, make sure your tablet is working and everything's fine. Uh, make sure you got Wi-Fi in your home. Like I said, Sebek is the internet. All right, Sebek is the internet. All right, and um, because Sebek is the internet, Sebek is the entire internet. That's another thing with Sebek, all right? It's the verbal command and it's very etheric, okay? It's communication. So we're dealing with the internet. We're dealing with information. Sebek's dealing with information. You know what I'm saying? The internet being the inter uh, information, news, the information superhighway, anything internet-wise. Like I said, with IT, you know what I'm saying? Make sure your Wi-Fi is running correctly and up to deep up to date and fast and make sure the speed is up to par these things are very important when it comes to money in 2018 right and when any of those things fail okay i don't care if it's a storm or not your wi-fi is knocked out or you need a technician out then you need to get that back on asap and you need to get you need to do some sebek chance Okay, speaking of Sebek Chance, I'm going to give y'all one. I'm going to put it in the chat section real quick, y'all. Um, all right, I just put it in the uh, chat section. So the Sebek Chant is on Ayin Tua U Sebek. All right, and I will put it in the description box so that people who not watching this live can see it. Hold on. I'm put it in the description box right now. Ung Aing Tua U Sebek. All right. Ung Aing Tua U Sebek. All right. So everybody check your communication. You know what I'm saying? Sebek is also dealing with how well we write. Okay. How, um, so people who are really good with, uh, the sub, uh, um, language, language arts, this is all Sebek. You know what I'm saying? Mastery of the word itself. Mastery of the word itself. So when you master the word itself, then you are able to, to turn the word into a word of power. But you have to first start with the word itself. You know what I'm saying? Even even with language, you know what I'm saying? You have, you know, you're saying we, we, we could do all the words of powers uh, out there. However, if we don't know the dialect, we don't know the tonation, you know what I'm saying, the pitch, the tone, frequency, then that word of power is powerless. A Sebekian, okay, people with that Sebek faculty, if you don't have it, you can cultivate it. A Sebekian is adept at pulling in languages, in dialect, and these type of people are very powerful. So anybody who can speak like 12 languages and stuff like that, these people are powerful, they're adept, they can navigate the planet easily because they can pull in languages. You know what I'm saying? When you pull in languages and you pull in dialects and tonations and, you know, you are pulling in information, all right? The difference between this city and another city, this country here and another country, this location, the east and the west, the main difference is the language. The, the difference between this project building and this project building is the lingo, the language, the code, the affirmation, the words, the, uh, um, the dialect, all right? Um, when, when you take in a dialect, you are taking in information about a town. People that blend in well with cultures 
okay? They speak like people in a particular culture or town or whatever. So, you know, dealing with Sebek, all right, we're going to do the Sebek chant, of course. We're going to get with our affirmations, of course, and I'm going to show you how to do that. On our next video, we're going to get into the technique of, like, really working affirmations so they work in your favor. But, you know what I'm saying, I would definitely implore everyone to learn or go out and attempt to learn a new language and do the Sebek chant. You know what I'm saying? And master that language. And move on to the next one. Okay, that's what this is all about. You know what I'm saying? Actually applying the science, family. Press one if you feel me. Somebody said, will this be uploaded? Just got the notification. Of course. Always. Okay. Affirmations work. They work very well. But you have to do them consistently. You have to do them enough time. You have to do them consistently. And again, they work when you put emotion and conviction behind them. That's very important, y'all. That's everything. Very important. Very, 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 very important. Sebex dealing with logistics, numbers, uh, a lot of times accounting, all right? Sebex is dealing with the throat chakra, all right? How well can we articulate things? How well can we give speeches? You know what I'm saying? Sebex is, you know, it's the nerve. Can you read? Do you read enough? All right. Are you looking at words? Are you saying these words in your head? This is important. Very important aspect. Like I said, a very compartmentalized aspect. And what I mean by that is you, when you use Sebek, the Sebek faculty or the verbal command, you, you definitely got to use he, hey, rule. You definitely got to use my eye. You definitely got to use Tahuti. All right. Uh, even Sekert. You know what I'm saying? Sekert dealing with the sound. All right, Saturnalia, uh, Secker, and Mercury. So you got the sound, you got the word, the dialect, the tonation, the sound, and you can elongate the sound. So Sebek, Sebek and uh, Secker is working together. Okay, whenever you have Sebek and Tahuti t working together, Tahuti is going to be the one that makes sure that Sebek, Sebek's wording is just correct and rational, all right? Because, you know, there's some of us who affirm negative things. And when you work with the Tahuti aspect of things, Tahuti is not going to, it's going to have you uh, sustain real quick, observe, hold back, and observe objectively before you start affirming things. And that's uh, Tahuti. And then, of course, Sebek and my eye. All right, my eye is going to make sure whatever you are trying to move into manifestation through verbal command is just, is right. You know what I'm saying? It's right. It's, it's right with the laws, right with the universal law. Then, you know, you got Sebek and he Heru. You know what I'm saying? He Heru is a visualization. So Sebek is going to give some life, some chi energy, some color to the word. You know what I'm saying? The word alone is dead. The word alone has no power you gotta use the other faculties but you you definitely do have to master the word another thing that we have to observe is that we have to learn how to stop identifying with the word you know what i'm saying for example and this is really important because when when you start applying this science the right way Things just start working in your favor left and right. But for example, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm mad. Right? That's an affirmation. I'm mad. But you can't be mad because you're you. You know what I'm saying? So we so that means that we start identifying with emotions. 
And according to comedic psychology, that is a disaster because you can't identify with the emotion. All right. So you're not mad. You're not happy. You're you. You're the spirit. All right. And when we do this stuff, I'm angry. What it does to our psyche, it programs our psyche into believing that it's a damn verb or adjective. And when we do that, we cause confusion. And when we do that, the psyche gets out of whack and it starts to try to figure out what the hell is going on. And then now your computer, your psyche, shuts down. You got confusion seeks in, um, negative energy, and then now you got anxiety, you mad, you angry, you depressed, and you feel like it's for no reason. It's not for no reason. You just programmed your psyche to some shit that it doesn't even understand or recognize. So we never want to do that. All right. We also we also do not want to throw out negative uh, words in our head, all right? And when we do that, we must learn how to stop, shut it down. You know what I'm saying? We got something called the Men Ab Meditation. The, meta, the Men Ab Meditation, M-E-N-A-B Meditation. You know what I'm saying? The technique is a circuit breaker, okay? Um, but if you if you can't get to the application of that, you want to learn how to shut your brain down. It's like shutting down the computer. Now you run the computer all day and it can freeze on you. You want to learn how to shut it down. You know what I'm saying? Even with the computer, even with our cell phones, we shut it. We're supposed to turn it off like once or twice a day, or it will freeze, or there's a chance that it will freeze. With us, because our brain is a computer. Our shutdown is meditation, you know what I'm saying, where you can, boom, black out real quick for minutes and then turn your computer back on. And this is very important because when our psyche's on, our brain's on, and everything is in regular operation, we get words going through our mind back and forth every day. And it's important to shut down. Right, because the setback aspect of things is really, 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 really important. And we need setback to be at optimum performance. We need our uh, the verbal commands that we're giving our psyche, our affirmations, all of the anything dealing with the word. We need that stuff to be at optimum performance. Press one if that makes sense. Let me look in the chat and see what's going on here. All right. Professor Egad, do affirmations need to be spoken in an ancient language to accelerate the results? Very good question. No. The reason is because a lot of our ancient languages are considered dead languages. And these languages have no power unless you say them or, uh, or words of power these languages over and 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 over. And then you give it, then you give it energy. Yes. But because these languages are not spoken on the planet often enough these languages are dead because there's no chi onto the words. And when that happens, the word loses its power. <laughs> this is why people who believe in etymology, right? You know, people who believe, who deal with the, um, you know, old school English or, you know what I'm saying? You got certain Moors out here who they're like, well, don't say this. I say this instead of this. And 
those words, you don't really feel the power off of them because it's like old English and stuff like that. It's because that's not being used on the planet uh, frequently. So it don't really have no weight to it. What you would want to do, okay, uh, Professor A. God, you would want to find the languages that I use most frequently, and you probably want to learn those languages and speak your affirmations in those languages. That'll help. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, and then I call those languages superpower languages. So, for example, Arabic is like the most cheated up language on the planet right now, or most powerful because most of the people on the planet speak it. But not only do they speak it, okay, it is used in prayer a lot, in spells and things like that, all right? So now it's spoken, not only spoken, but it's charged over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So you got, you got, uh, you got words in like the 99 names of Allah. So now you got the, the language that's being spoken a lot. And then you got words in this language being chanted hundreds and thousands and thousands and thousands of times. Those words are powerful because they've been cheated up. So you want to learn your affirmations in Arabic. You know what I'm saying? So that's a hint right there. That'll work. Trust me. Trust me on that. You know what I'm saying? The Wandering says, Sage said the cracked phone is on point. Oh, yeah. Trust me. Like, I'm speaking from experience. And evaluating other people with the cracked phone and the difference when they bought a new phone or a brand new screen and how money started flowing, right? It's mercury, you know what I'm saying? Another thing in mercury retrograde, you'll, you'll, you'll drop your phone. It's, it's serious stuff, you know what I'm saying? Metaphysics is really deep, it's important, it's serious, it's energy, but it's science and it makes sense, always remember that. So, John Bell says, set back and set back, 22, the croc god. Yeah, so, the crocodile, right? The croc god, right? Croc god. So back. All right? This is the underworld aspect. This is when we're getting into the Baron Samdi degree. And we're getting into the energy that sanctions you to the underworld or helps you cross over or crosses over or crosses you over that takes you in the boat, all right? So you got the Sobek energy, the crocodile, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, uh, Sobek is also associated with uh, that Eshui or Elegwa or Papalegba energy, you know what I'm saying? The opener of the way. All right, the opener. Like I said, layers to Sebek. Okay, so we could deal with the verbal command. We could deal with the underworld degrees. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the real Egyptian book of the dead, you know what I'm saying? It's all Sobek and Anubis energy in that. You know what I'm saying? Funerary rites. Okay, like I said, that's dealing with the Baron Somdi thing. So, um, Shebek's a very, very, very deep degree, and and it's a it's a degree in which you must study over and over and over and over because so many layers to it, right? You know what I'm saying from the planet Mercury. Um, yeah. Communication is key always, and whenever communication fails, your operation 
is going to fail. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For example, you know what I'm saying? I'm on live right now. If for any reason the internet goes out, it's a wrap for this live. What I was trying to do won't be accomplished. Okay. You know, a musician is on tour and the microphone fails. That's worse than the wardrobe malfunction. That's bad. All right. The sound, the communication, that is very, 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 very important. Our Sebekians are looked at as nerds. They're intelligent. They're into the science of how these things work. The, the logistics and the, an, you know, and the analytics, the boring shit, the things we consider boring, they think is exciting. And we don't revere them enough or have enough respect for them. And it's the crazy thing is, you know, the engineers, right? The engineer in the suit studio, that's the Sebekian. And it's like, if they don't do their job, our shit is jacked, period. So, you know, when we deal with the Sebek ritual, we definitely want to give honors to the Sebekians out here who make shit pop, right? We ain't watching TV if... The satellites and you know the, the 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 cable company is not putting that channel through properly, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is serious Sebekian energy. We don't have the internet. We we do not have in access to the internet without Sebek. The faculty Sebek and then the primordial deity Sebek. All right. Word. Uh, the Wandering Sage Ampu is another underworld. Uh, Sobek is an underworld aspect, and Ampu is a a, a underworld aspect of Sebek as well. Professor Igadu Sobek and Foth share the same correlations? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. They work together very well, though. Levon, is the underworld the same as the subconscious? No. The underworld is literally the underworld surround. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Everything is not all in the mind. You know what I'm saying? That's a good question. That's a very good question. I'm happy you asked that. Let me look. The Wanderer said, my phone has been cracked for over a year and money is very bad at the moment. Yeah, get that phone fixed ASAP and watch what happens. I swear this lesson was right on schedule. I was told to watch and I was told to watch what I say and I had taken up Arabic because of one of my coworkers. Yeah. Learn that Arabic, you know what I'm saying? And then um make sure that you learn Islamic Arabic because it is not only the most utilized language, not only the most mathematical language, but also a very Spell written language. This is why some of you that have Qurans in your home and stuff are like that, or read them. You read it, right? And then you're ready to fall asleep. Or you go to sleep. And you got to wake up and read it again. It's that strong. It's a lot of chi in it. This is all about chi. This is why, you know what I'm saying? The word itself is not. Ain't really powerful until that that energy that 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 you know what I'm saying that emotion and conviction puts chi into the word. It's all about chi, electricity. All right, power. I think I'm done with this lecture. Let's see.
said Dream Dink. Danielle said setback equals communication. Tahuti equals mode of communication. Yeah. There we go. I like. Yo, make sure y'all thumbs up this video. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up the video. And then, of course, go into the group. Throw up that long ass paragraph of what y'all seen. I need to see that ASAP. Remember Sebek's mantra on Aing Tuau Sebek. Everybody get their Sebek or Anubis statue for when we incorporate Sebek into the ritual. Start now working on affirmations. All right. Because we're dealing with application. In real time, we I need to know, I, I need y'all to, in y'all journal right now, write down, okay, what the fuck do I want to change about myself, about my situation, or whatever, you know, and these are, this is what needs to be in your affirmations, your daily affirmations. Like a year ago, like two years ago, you know, Western psychology identify affirmations as something that works on the psyche, all right? So now, psycho psychologists all over the West is like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Say this 21 times that you love yourself. Keep saying it over and over and over and over and over and say it 21 days straight, 21 times. And it's like, yo, we been new about this shit. You motherfuckers is late. You know what I'm saying? Ancient comedic psychology is the shit. Okay. So, things that are groundbreaking to the West, we figured out a long time ago. The Wanderer said, the, the Moors of old created the Arabic language. Correct. Um, No. That's a good question. Not... Necessarily, because the original Arabic language was definitely uh, like Sumerian, and that definitely wasn't created by the Moors. I would say that the Moors definitely adopted it, you know what I'm saying? But if you listen to Arabic and you listen to Sumerian, you'll see the similarities. And you know what I'm saying the Moors did their thing, they knew their stuff, they knew their stuff, though. I'll give them that. V. Davis said, deliberately and consistently cultivate positive beliefs and reject negative beliefs. Precisely. Uh, Quinn Anna said, what's Sebex Day? All right. Remember, this information all makes sense. And it will always make, se always make sense. And it's always going to be very consistent. So, if Sebex... Dealing with Mercury, right? Sebex Day is going to deal, is going to be Mercury Day. Mercury Day is Wednesday. Those are the basics. I'm saying it's the basics. All right. Venus Day, Friday. Okay. Saturn's Day, Saturday, Mo Moon Day, Monday, Sunday. You know. We got to know the basics. We got to study the basics. All right. Um, good question. But I don't care what culture you're dealing with. The day, the color, the element, the time, a lot of times the zodiac sign, the deity is all going to be consistent. All right. Heru, Oshun, Venus. All right, Sebek, Ilegua, Mercury, Wednesday. It's all going to be consistent, no matter what culture you go to. So if you learn this the right way, you can go into any culture, whether it's African, whether it's Dravidian, that's the, the Hindu stuff, or 
You know, it don't matter what it is. Even if it's Christian, you'll be able to go into the culture and you'll be able to know the the, the planet, the correlate, the 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 correlation, the zodiac sign, the color, the elements. What you know, what incense to use, what bath to use, all of that. That's why this is important because you'll be able to take this universally everywhere. All right, that's the point of learning this, family. That's the point of learning this. Moritz again? No, that's not weird. Nicole Craddock said, yep, ping, because affirmation, affirmations are being used in schools. Absolutely. Now, we got these affirmations being used in schools. We've been on this. Study this. Don't study that Western shit. Trust this stuff works. They just now catching up in the West. Get ahead of the game. Study real comedic science and real comedic psychology, and you're going to be ahead of the game. Now you got affirmations being used in school and drug rehabilitation centers, and they should have been using that shit 40 years ago. But they ain't no comedic science. You know what I'm saying? Our ancestors dealt with perfection the standard in, in ancient Kemet was perfection and, and, and in other societies we had everything covered now in the west still everything is compartmentalized and that's a problem so this is the difference between like an African or indigenous system and a more modern system is because one side don't know what the other side is doing, and one side does not necessarily don't communicate with the other side. So, you know what I'm saying? In the medical field, this doctor don't know the, that doctor's craft, so they're telling you two different things. In a more African way, uh, everybody works together. Even in African spirituality, you're saying the 20 something different spiritual systems are cousins. Of the other So they can let you know Okay you deal with that Alright I know what the angle you're dealing with So we could, co we could communicate this way You know what I'm saying There is a full circle of communication Everybody you know what roles everyone plays And you know what I'm saying Like I said even in the medical industry Everybody's not on the same a page Because the West is too compartmentalized It's not a unit you know what I'm saying? In comedic psychology, in comedic science, everything is a unit. You know what I'm saying? We understand Sebek needs other faculties to work with. We understand Heyru needs to work with Heyru. We understand the unity. You know what I'm saying? We don't deal with, all right, let's just deal with Sebek. All right, then you're going to have a problem. You know what I'm saying? Even in the medical, I mean, I mean even, in, even when we deal with nutrition, our issue is that we're like, okay, let's just purify the blood. But this is messed up. All right, let's fix that. But then this is messed up. It's like you want to fix everything. You want to get everything wor working together. You know what I'm saying? That's why we have nutritional issues because um, we look at an issue and then we just fix that one issue and we don't fix the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And same thing with a car. You know what I'm saying? Like you want the entire car to be working properly. You don't just want to fix this and then this fails on you next. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm gonna answer. I added up all the numbers to my birthday to a single digit and bit came out to the number eight. I'm crowned at the Tahuti. Hmm. So what you're definitely saying is on point. That's what's up. That's what's up. Professor Igar said, I understand the Kola Tesla, Tesla channel, the Vedic sciences, so Sobek facilitate an inventive mind as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 
Yes, Planetary Times is very good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got to the point where, like, I think I got into the Planetary Times when I was, like, 15 or something like that. But Planetary Times is very good. You know what I'm saying? It got to the point where I memorized the Planetary Times. It's like you could easily memorize Army Time. I started to, you know what I'm saying? I seen the chart. And I got to the point where I knew, okay, it's 10 o'clock. It's Venus. So that means I could tell somebody I love them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's it's Mercury. It's Sebek time. That means this person is so hard to get through to. Or somebody I really need to talk to. Shit, it might be an investor. See, like, the investors, people, like, if I wanted somebody to invest in my business or or whatever, like, I, I, I would use Sebek on them. I would wait to Mercury time. And I would hit them up. And that shit would work every goddamn time. So everybody, you know, Get you a planetary hours chart. Write it down. Study it. Get to the point where you memorize it. Because it's the same It's the same planets. You know what I'm saying? Over and over and over and over. And, over. and once you get that, don't just, you know what I'm saying? There's an app called the Planetary Times app. And I know they definitely have it on Android. Use that at first, but memorize it, yo. You know what I'm saying? That that app is good because it goes Venus time, Saturn time. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you memorize it, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be able to like navigate very well. You know what I'm saying? Moon time. You know what I'm saying? Moon dealing with cancer, energy, emotion, and people are just emotional as fuck. Like, leave people the fuck alone. Wait an hour. Wait till moon time is over, and then you could deal with people. That shit works. That shit works very well. So, um, with all that said. I'm out this bitch. It was good building with you all. Everybody have a great day. Throw that testimonial up about what y'all thought about this lecture. Like this motherfucking video. Get your affirmations ready. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.